going to do is I want to show Peter where you actually started, Dad, with your brother-in-law, Steve. Colbert Road. Colbert Road, was it? They, they brought me to the factory as a little kid. We've actually got a picture of um, us on the driveway at New Home Caravans. I started with them at 91. That was 18 when I first started. Before you started New Home Caravans, where were you working? On the Before, TV. You were doing what? Thorn TV, was it? Yeah. Uncle Steve started with it. He had a partner. Then his partner left. Not in uh, caravans, but... In caravans? Yeah. Still started with his partner before that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And then once the partner got out, Dad got him. Because that's oh. when Thorn TV closed down. Yeah, he closed down the TV. Yeah, but it's all right, yeah. Yeah. And after he started to live, a uh, new home. Oh, with your brother-in-law? Yeah. How many vans were you building back then, Dad? A week? About 15. 15 a week? Yeah. But were they the same as the caravans now that we're building, Dad? No, no. <laughs> different. different. Uh? No, no, more, more, one, weren't they? more easy. Who no. was the other dealer then? Um, Doug, Doug Thorley. Oh, Doug Thorley. Were you selling them as new home caravans? New home caravans. Yeah, I might go that time, uh, 23 footers with uh, four mark bucks on the back. Four bucks in the back. Yeah. Alright, and when we started Royal Flair Caravans, it was good that we all together as a family are. Huh? There, we had all of us there working together. Mum was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mum started too doing her. Um, curtains, the curtains. He's doing the curtains, he do the uh, cushions, he's full up the cushions. Yeah, that's when we used to make everything in house. Upholstery and curtains. You never used to get it from a supplier? No, no, no. Well, you had people making them, but we used to, everyone used to make their own curtains back then, Dad, huh? Yeah. Like, um, you did everything in the caravan, yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right, Pete, now we're going to go to the factory where Papu and Uncle Steve first started. And if you look at this factory here, and across the road used to be GNS too, but this factory here never used I to have. Three factories here. <laughs> we had the three factories, didn't you? Yeah. How big were the factories, Dad? 16. 16,000 square feet. Yeah. Well, this is the factory right here now. We're right, we're getting here right now. Pete? Uh, which one? This one right here. Oh, yeah. That used to be. Yeah, that's the factory right there, mate. The new home caravan sign used to be exactly over there. And it's all our brick. From this factory here, Pete, they had which other one, Dad, you had? You had across the road? Two. Then they had that factory there. Well, these are, they own these factories. Too. Yeah, they had that yeah. factory there, and the other factory over there. They had, they had both of the factories over there. One, so number two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are you serious? This is number seven now. Seven now, and <laughs> next year will be our number eight. All right, let's go across the road. I'll show you where your grandfather used to park his car. How many workers did you have when you had this factory? Twenty. Now we'll go take you where Rob, when we first started in Calaro. Royal Flair when we first started that little factory here, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well let's go guys, let's go to the, the, the other factory, the small one, Calaro Road, 80 Calaro Road, Camberfield. From here you doing 15 and then you went to the church. You're doing one in one a week then. We went to Cooper Street, but back then these factories, they all these little factories then. Yeah, where we were, mate, it was small factories. Pete, then, back when we used to do caravans back then, no cordless drills. How did you put the screws in? Screwdrivers. Brought by air, wasn't it? Well, screwdrivers used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, most of the time by hand, but then they had the one that did this. You wind it up. Oh, and it's got the screwdriver, wind it up, yeah. screw it in. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. There it is. 80 Kilar Road. That's when we had the next one. 80 Clara Road, look how big the factory was, Pete. Wow. We came here, we came from a big factory to a small factory. We wanted just small manufacturing to work on quality vans. But this one now is gonna go, yeah? This one is most uh, six. Yeah, this is 6,000 square feet. Yeah. We used to do three vans there, Dad, three. three we started four. one, and then we started doing three, four, four, four yeah. caravans we used to get out of here. A week. A week, four. Well, this is where we came here. We started here at um, the Royal Flare. This we were doing at least one, then we started from one to two, from two to three. Three we had with six people. 
So this is where Royal Fleet actually started? Royal Fleet, yeah, started the other factory. We had a little factory, we were sharing it. Mm. But this is when we came to our own factory here. It was our first own factory. 25, 26, I was. And from here, we end up with the factory we are now. Now, we're going to see our, our the new factory that we're going to build for 2020. Yeah. Where do you reckon, mate? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Jump in. Right. Pete, when we came from here, 80 Kilara Road, we went to 37 Marola Way, and then from 37 across the road, we went to 26 to 28 Marola Way. When we started new Royal Fleet Caravan, Gina was involved in the business then. Back in 92, 93, I started, well, I was the director of Gina, and then 95, Gina closed. Me and you took over 95. Yeah, I think yeah. That's when I remember I broke my leg. I had, um, I broke tibia and fibula bone, remember? Mm. Playing soccer? Yeah. Uh, and you were telling me, get up, come on, keep on goalkeeping. <coughs> you, how are you as a soccer player? Let's talk about, a little bit about your soccer. Were you a good soccer player for Paul? Oh, yeah, yeah. My factory uh, teams. teams. Yeah, oh, you, that's what you used to do years ago. Yeah. All the factories used All to make. Yeah, soccer teams. Yeah. We used to play, used to play against who? All different teams then, then wasn't it? Ah, Thorn. Oh, that was the Thorn TV one. Yeah. So what, what was the whole set in those games back in the day? Did you have any electronics in there? No. Nah. Obviously lights and stuff. No, your light, the lights that you had was only 240 12 volt lights back then. Yeah, yeah. Tell this young bloke here how many times that together will stay up to get the caravan finished. Nine, ten, sometime. We used to say a lot longer too. One o'clock in the morning. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used to work, to work the next day. Next day, work again. Sometimes, before we used to go open up, we used to finish the caravan at eight, nine o'clock. I used to jump in my car and drive it to Adelaide to earn a bit more money. I was young, but Papu was in his 50s then. No, 50, 55 when they closed up. And then Papu said to me, come on, this business is supposed to be you. You're going to take this business over. Come on, let's start it. So this is where the new place is, mate. Just land now. This is where it's going to be, mate. Our driveway will be here, really. Holy all right, um, this is our new premises for 2020. We're building, uh, it's on 5,000 square meters, actual land. We're building a factory that's close to 2,600 square feet. It's gonna be built close to August 2020. And the beauty about it is we're gonna have a showroom in the middle of the manufacturing. Then at the back, we're gonna do servicing, repairs, and insurance work. So it'll be quite good, it'll be very modern. This will be maybe our, our last time we shift after nine shifts, was it Pete? Yeah. Nine shifts. Dad will have his own office here. What do you reckon, Dad? All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are very excited to move into this. We're still gonna be manufacturing four to five caravans a week. We don't wanna get any bigger, but what we wanna do is create, give the people the service that they want and that they need. And now streamline everything. It'll be lean manufacturing, lean. Just a bit like me, lean. <laughs> and that's all, folks.